Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new 2012 MacBook Air. Right now to start off, we're just going to take a quick look at the box. I'll go over the specifications and then I'll actually unbox it. However, before I get into this, I just wanted to say that this video is also part of the new third generation iPad giveaway that I'm doing. So of course to enter, just first of all, be subscribed. If you aren't already, you can hit the subscribe button up there and just leave a comment down below in the comment section and you'll be automatically entered into this giveaway. Of course, just be sure to rate it up if you like this video and if you like the giveaway. All right, now to start off, like I said, going over the box, it is different than and the 2011 MacBook Air box. I have that one right here. As you can see, the 2011 MacBook Air box is black. However, this one, it's white, and they're kind of starting to go towards the iPad and iPhone trend as far as boxes go. I have the Retina Display MacBook Pro box right here. But we're not really focused on the MacBook Pro in this video, we're focused on the MacBook Air. All right, so aside from that, on the bottom right here, it just says MacBook Air. Flipping it over, you have the Apple logo. It says MacBook Air towards the top. And on the other side, it also has the Apple logo. And then we have our specifications on the back. And I'm just going to zoom in and we'll briefly go over these and then get into the unboxing. All right, now the 2012 MacBook Air isn't really upgraded too much over its predecessor, the 2011 MacBook Air. There aren't any design changes and it just features specification upgrades. So whereas the same exact 2011 model MacBook Air would have had a 1.7 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i5 processor, this one has a 1.8 gigahertz. However, because it is the new Ivy Bridge processor, it does have turbo boost technology. So that means it can go up to a 2.8 gigahertz if it gets pushed and if the system tells it to utilize more of the processor. So in reality, this thing goes up to 2.8 gigahertz. And again, it's a dual core Intel Core i5 processor. Now it has four gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of flash storage, standard 13.3 inch LED backlit display with a resolution of 1440 by 900. It does feature an upgraded onboard graphics card from the Intel HD Graphics 3000 in the 2011 model to the Intel HD Graphics 4000 chip again in this model with the upgraded Ivy Bridge processor. Now they also bumped up the FaceTime camera to HD and it has the same SD card slot and two USB ports as on the 2011 model. However, this 2012 model features USB 3.0 ports instead of USB 2.0. So just like the new MacBook Pros, this thing has USB 3.0 ports, including a Thunderbolt port for high-speed IO, 802.11 Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0 backlit keyboard, it's pre-installed with OS X, obviously, and it does have a built-in headphone port as well as built-in stereo speakers, and it comes in at just 2.96 pounds. All right, now starting over here in the top right-hand corner because that's where it is peeled away the most, we can go ahead and take off the plastic wrap. Right now I'm just going to zoom out for a clear shot of the MacBook Air as I lift off the lid to reveal the actual computer. All right, here we go. Time to lift it up. And as you can see, we are greeted with the MacBook Air on top here. And you can easily pull it out with this plastic tab, just like before and just like how they package the MacBook Pro models. Of course, you get that nice sound when you take off the plastic. Somewhat annoying, but we can deal with it. Let's actually, if I don't let this fall back in there, let's actually turn it on while we go over the other things that come in the box. Setting this aside, uh, over here we do have a booklet, and this is very similar to the new Retina Display MacBook Pro's packaging near identical as a matter of fact. When we open up this packet right here, we are greeted with a simple card that says hello, and it folds out into what looks like fingertips for iOS. It just goes over your Mac and gives you some tips on how to use it and how to better interact with it and its software. So we will set this little brochure aside. Next, we are greeted with an important product information guide, which obviously, to be quite honest, doesn't really look too important. So we'll set that aside. Be sure to mute the Mac before it starts talking to us to let us know we can go ahead and select our language to continue because it is on right now. Uh, and right here we do have two Apple logo stickers and that's all we get in this black packet. Moving on, 
Over here we do have the charger, and this is actually MagSafe 2.0, so if you do have a 2011 MacBook Air, you will not be able to use the same charger with the new 2012 MacBook Air and it actually went through and interrupted me, so I'm gonna mute it again. But anyway, as I was saying, this is the new MagSafe 2.0 charger, so this will not work with the charger from 2011 or from the 2011 model MacBook Air. I'm going to go ahead and just get that really quick to compare it. All right, here's the pre-MagSafe 2.0 charger. As you can see, this will not fit in the new 2012 MacBook Air because they did decide to slim it down to save some space when actually creating the computer. So as you can see right here, it just connects magnetically and then you can actually charge it. So again, MagSafe 2.0 on the 2012 MacBook Air. And of course, let's just take the plastic off and I'll show you guys that you can interchange this top piece right here. So if you were to just pull this piece out, you can change it depending on where you are. If you're not inside the US and you don't have the standard US wall outlets where you live, you can change it out or you can actually extend it if you have the extender. Of course, it does come with the US one. So you can just plug this into the wall instead of having the brick plugged into the wall. All right, now that's basically it inside of the box. Let's actually just go ahead and take a quick look at the MacBook Air here. It is booted up. I'm not going to go through the setup process, but let's just look at it again. This does look identical to the 2011 model MacBook Air. Closing it up here. We do have our Thunderbolt port over here on the right, and we have our USB 3.0 port SD card slot. Flipping it over here, we do have MagSafe 2.0, another USB 3.0 slot, and then we have our headphone jack port and our microphone to the right of that, it looks like. All right, now that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked my unboxing of the new 2012 model MacBook Air. Again, please be sure to rate it up and leave a comment down below in the comment section to be entered into my new third generation iPad giveaway. Like I said, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.